Welcome back guys to this amazing episode of this debate. This time around it is between some shaman and a Muslim faithful who believes that the Prophet Muhammad allowed this demonic act in Islam. Let's find out what it is. Islam commands us to do good and forbid evil. You okay. said Islam teaches good. Okay, so let's talk about morality of Islam because you follow Quran and Sunnah. Your prophet at one time, I'm not saying now, you're a Sunni. So I know you don't do it now. But at one time, your prophet accepted Zawaj al Muta. Muta, right? Yeah. You're okay with that? Him doing Muta? Uh, at the time, it was accepted. So now be honest with me as a man who has respect, you have ghira, you have honor. How would you feel if you lived at that time? So understand what I'm saying. How would you feel if you lived at that time and one of the Muslims said, I want to marry your sister for three days and then when I'm done, I'll divorce her and give her money. You honestly would be okay with that? Um, I don't believe that it was done in, in, in that context. I, I believe it was, it was, it was more of you know, when they were away from their wives. Oh, so it's okay, they they're were... away? So, okay, a Muslim from California is away from his wife and you're living in Chicago. And he says, Yahi, I'm gonna marry your sister for three days and give her money when I'm done because my wife is in California. Are you okay with that? Well, at the end of the day, you have to consider it like this. Do you wanna have unlawful sexual relations in the eyes of Allah or do you actually wanna you know, if the Prophet said something and, and, you know, he's the highest moral authority. So if he uh, permitted something at a certain time under certain circumstances, well, it's not for us to really question that. We're, we, we, we just follow him exactly as he says and uh, we obey him. So you really think a God Almighty who is all powerful would legalize. Hey, I'm giving it to you straight. Am, oh, I, yeah. am, I, am I beating around the bush? No, you're you? honest. Okay, okay. All right, okay, that's fine. All right, okay. Then you're saying if it's from Allah, okay, that's fine. Well, all right, then you can see why non-Muslims have a problem with it. But now the Shia who say that their hadith still allows muta, it's not been abrogated. Do you then tell them then you guys are committing zinna because you're committing prostitution and trying to excuse it? Would you accuse them of committing zinna? Yeah, because yeah. Uh, it, it was said that after... Does the law of God change this? Because the ability of any, the power of any truth is in its ability to remain consistent over time. And the guy is not trying to say the, the times have changed and all that. Well, I don't know. Let's continue with this video to find out what, what actually happened. So it was, it was allowed for a certain period of time uh, like when the Muslims, they went on expeditions and they were away from their wives, they were allowed to do it. Um, but, uh, at the, and, and they, they could do it, uh, you know, you know, they, you know, they didn't have any wives at that time. And, you know, it was a different time and stuff like that. Okay. So, so the Shia doing it you know, today. They needed to, they needed to, uh, give a mahar, give a gift, mm -hmm. give a, a dowry to marry a woman and they could, uh, uh, you know and, and enjoy her in, in, in a marital way and, and you consider that um, marriage and after some and then after some time brother um, and humanity. the marriage would be dissolved okay but, brother in uh, humanity be right honest now with. we don't we don't permit that and and the prophet didn't permit it when you know like you know when the muslims return home and they're living amongst their community for them to just do it you know with each other's daughters and stuff as as a form of no Okay. No, marriage, of course, is meant to be a long-term thing. Say it again. And marriage is meant to be what? Marriage is meant to by, be what? I said, I said, by and large, it should be a long-term thing. It's, okay. it's meant to be a long-term thing. Okay. Now there, there are certain circumstances that may warrant that, but uh, the way we have it now, it's not permitted. Okay. Let me just repeat what you said. Marriage is meant to be long-term. Even though I may marry someone that I want to stay with. Things happen, we get divorced. But my intention wasn't to marry her and divorce her. So you agree. But you're saying because Muhammad, under the orders of your God, because you believe Allah spoke to your prophet, when your prophet said, you can marry them short term and you can tell a woman, look, I'm just going to marry you for three days and pay you money. 
that was legal marriage, even though the intention was to be married for a short term. And you really call that marital? You really call that a marriage? Well, what you, what you gotta understand, they were doing Allah's will at the time. Allah's will, okay. So they were out preaching Islam and, you know, assisting in the expansion of Islam. And so they were, they did not have their wives with them. So it was permitted for them to temporarily marry the women who were available to them. And right at the, but after a while, this practice was forbidden. And so now when the Shia do it, it's zinna, it is wicked, it's haram, it's immoral. Now if they do that, right? Correct. And they, they, uh, you know, they, they reject our hadith yes, right. and they curse a lot of the, the, the Sahabi. Yep. And so they, they have, become misguided in a lot of ways and i can't speak for them sure on, no not put them aside but i just want to make sure that we get this point now when the shia do it it's it's zinna it's sexual immorality it's even adultery we'd even call it prostitution but for some reason when your your prophet allowed it to be done because he allowed it then it's no longer prostitution it's no longer adultery it's no longer sexual morality so what changed what changed is the uh the circumstances oh so when muhammad decides if the circumstances are right then it's no longer zinna okay wow that was another amazing one well as i said before does the law of god changes the the the, 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 the power of any truth is in its ability to remain consistent over time the muslim faithful admit that muhammad allowed this demonic act in a certain period of time and then it was abolished as time changes you as a muslim watching this will you allow your sister or your daughter to be to be married in such circumstances just to appease a law that changes over time well you can leave your comment at the comment sections and also like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.